quite a common thing on eBay. It's a solar-powered LED candle, and unlike the little tea light candle lamps, this one's actually quite a chunky, big thing. So um, it's got the uh, solar panel on the front. It's the usual resin potted um, monocrystalline silicon. It looks very linear. I'm guessing it's monocrystalline silicon uh, solar panel. And it's got the four strips that you'd normally expect, about half a volt each, gives two volts, charging probably, well, I can see the outline of a, what looks a triple A maybe, a nickel metal hydride cell. Well, let's open it up. Or right, let's actually try it. So I'll turn this on and then I'll turn these lights off and see if it actually brings it up. Right, okay, that's, unfortunately it's cold white. It seems really hard getting these in warm white. Every colour but warm white, which is the, the nearest you're going to get to an actual candle. So, right, okay, well that kind of works. So let's uh, pop it open. It's going to be pretty much like a, a solar garden light. The only difference being that when you're driving these um, flickering LEDs, you can't just drive them straight across the coil that uh, most of these lights do. Okay, so... Oh, it's a blob uh, in there. It's not. It's one of the chip on board, the sort of just re potted in resin. The cell is a AAA, and it's actually clamped in quite tightly. That's that's quite good. Let's see if this can come out a bit further. Not holding my breath too much because the LED may trap it in if it's jammed into the uh, sort of plastic flame shape. I'm not 100 percent sure. Okay, it came out okay. There are two diodes. Now, one diode will be the diode from... Normally, with these circuits, the um, inductor is switched by a transistor in the chip and the LED is across, a bit like a jewel thief. Um, and the when the uh, transistor turns on, it starts current flowing through the inductor, then the transistor turns off, and the current through the inductor, the magnetic field collapses and it causes a spike which makes the LED um, light. But you can't quite do that with the flickering LEDs because they don't like the fact that they're being turned on and off at high frequency. It keeps resetting them and they don't flicker. So what they do there is they have a very small capacitor. It doesn't have to be very big at all. Um, and they have a diode to rectify the output that would have fed the, where the LED would have been. It just rectifies that and smooths it to create a very simple DC supply. The other diode is fundamentally uh, a rectifier from the from the um, solar panel. And this plastic, this plastic flame looks as though it's actually moulded right in here with the a uh, circular solar panel just sat over the top. So in a way, they could have used uh, one of those little four-pin chips uh, and done away with one of these diodes, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. It's uh, just whatever's, whatever they've got that they've used, really. So, um, yeah, modest construction, it's all right, but do you know what? I may be tempted to replace this flickering LED with just an ordinary warm white LED. I might do that right now. Okay, well that was a rather pleasing discovery. Uh, I've just found out that the I thought the LED was going to be a standard flickering LED with a chip built into it, just like this one has, is that just flickers itself when you supply DC to it. But it turns out the DC is being supplied to the LED uh, by that little uh, resistor and capacitor arrangement, a diode and capacitor arrangement, should I say. But the LED is just an ordinary LED and then the chip, as well as controlling the uh, solar switching and the, the drive for this, is also doing the flickering. It's probably using a single clock source for them both. So now uh, this LED, if I cover that over, can I make this actually run? Yeah. So this LED, although it's just an ordinary LED, is now flickering. So I've got a warm white flickering LED. So I'm just about to uh, stick this back in. And I'll screw that circuit board back down. This is good, because I couldn't find the warm white ones of these. They're quite widely available on eBay. And they come with this huge sort of glass as a diffuser. Well, glass, it's a plastic container as a sort of diffuser. 
which the packaging would probably be a lot easier if they just sent it as the, the bare thing. Now I'm wondering, if you put this outside and you actually sat it over the top, it would provide it weather protection, because I don't think it's waterproof as it stands. I thought, having said that, um, I'm not 100% sure if it'd be waterproof if you used it outdoors. But would that pass enough light to actually allow it to charge? Don't really know. One way to find out. So I'm just going to put this back in. Put the screws back in. I used the same style of LED, the sort of, uh, what they call a concave LED. The lens actually points down into the LED. Like the ones commonly used in fair lights or Christmas lights. Quite hard to get though. Um, very hard to get. I've not actually got that many of them. They very occasionally appear on eBay and then seem to disappear again. I don't think they're that popular. So let's uh, turn this on and uh, turn that light off again and see how it looks now. Yeah. That's much better. That's more candle-like. Well, I mean, if, if your candle's strobe burned off. But, um, the colour is a lot better. Yeah, that's a good result, I should think. That's, that's a very good result.